Hey there, Power Boaters. I hope you guys are getting through this terrible coronavirus time. Uh, Stu Jones here in the FPC studios with more feature coverage of the Emerald Coast Poker Run. And it couldn't come at a better time when you guys are quarantined or locked down at home. Uh, no place to go. Can't play with your friends. Uh, you got to stay home. But good thing that that Wi-Fi is working and that Internet's working because we're bringing you these new episodes here on YouTube. So let's continue now with episode three. Uh, continued coverage of the Emerald Coast Poker Run 2019, but let's quickly recap for those of you who are just catching up with us in the middle here. Remember now, we've been here for three days. We started things off with episode one, where we had uh, feature coverage of the kickoff event, which was the Trucks and Boats Parade from Harbor Walk Village in Destin. That was an exciting way to kick things off. Then on Thursday morning, we got the boats in the water uh, launching at the Marler Park boat ramp. And we got out on the Bay Waters for a fun run, which went up to Niceville. We had some lunch there and turned the boats around and came back to Destin Harbor and headed straight to Margaritaville for the Miss Powerboat Week contest. And it was fantastic. We crowned a new queen and enjoyed some great festivities, including an incredible fireworks show at the Harbor Walk Village. Then on episode two, we got started off with our Friday fun run leaving Destin, heading westbound on the intracoastal waters to one of our favorite boating hotspots, that Juana's Pagodas. It's so much fun, beautiful sandy beach, live musical entertainment, and a great vibe, which is why it's the most popular hotspot in the Florida panhandle for boaters. We got back out on the waterways with the helicopter in chase, giving our viewers at home a chance to take a closer look at all of these cool power boats, including performance D-bottoms, performance center consoles, and high-speed catamarans. And that's where we left off at the end of episode two as we kick off number three now and introduce you guys to the stars of this show, the members and the sponsors of the Florida Powerboat Club as we enjoy powerboating in paradise here in the Emerald Coast. The Florida Powerboat Club's Poker Run event series and these YouTube episodes are presented by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination, along with these leading marine industry sponsors. And let's kick off with Team Rockin' Taco, Brad Hancock from Georgia in this 47 Nortec. It's called an SPX 477, powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. He's just on cruise control right now, but this boat is capable of speeds well over 100 miles per hour. Brad says, you know what? I've been having fun today. I want to enjoy my boating, so I'm just going to kick it back. Let's just enjoy the ride at 60 MPH. Well, we just saw Brad, and it's no wonder that his buddy Josh Kirkland is nearby with the 42 cigarette Dirty Duck. They're all from the same crew back in Georgia, having fun today on this big cigarette Huntress, four 350s. These guys look like they're having a blast along this intracoastal cruise. And here's a very special SD41 cigarette. Not very many like this, belongs to Jerry Swanson. It's got Mercury Racing 1100s in it. One of few center consoles that are powered by stern drives that Cigarette produced a few years back. And this one actually clocked in at 105 miles per hour at Lotto just a couple years early. Another Georgia team, this is Kyle Fowler. He's had a lot of fun in NASCAR race cars over the years, but now he's having fun in his NAS boat. 35-foot fountain powered by Mercury Racing 525. Love those patriotic graphics. And here's a team we've seen a lot of over the years here in the Emerald Coast. Stephen and Kelly Marino from Auburn, Alabama in their 35-foot DCB, a boat that we're seeing a lot more of here on the East Coast. They're doing a great job building catamarans out in California, and this is one of their most popular models. Reliable Mercury Racing 1100s. It doesn't get much better than that, guys. What a beast. And it's another team from Georgia, of course. I think they're winning the battle here today. Matt and Robin Wilson from Georgia in their 32-foot Sea Fox powered by Yamaha Outboards. Can't wait to see their new one they've got coming. It's called a Sea Fox 368. It's going to be powered by Triple Mercury 400Rs. It's going to be the flagship of the Sea Fox fleet.
Oh, you've got to love the roar of those engines. Uh, first time here on the Emerald Coast event. 32-foot skater from Ronnie Sprinkle came all the way from Texas uh, with his buddy Chad Havens. What a great-looking boat. Obviously an old-school skater. I don't know who built Ronnie's engines, but, boy, they sound sweet. And here's one of the reasons why DCB has so many new boats on the East Coast. Well, George Ariano, because he's bought about three or four of them. This is his newest 35, powered by Mercury Racing 1100 1350s. And it's another deep impact. We saw this boat on our last show, David and Sarit Arnold from Georgia. It's a 36 model powered by Twin Mercury Outboards. And it's a great lake boat, a great poker run boat, and a great offshore boat. And let's say hi to John Coletta again. Uh, we saw him about three or four episodes back. He attended the Orange Beach Powerboat Week in this very same boat. Team Card Hustler is a 388 slingshot from the builder named Hustler Powerboats in Long Island. And slowing things down for just a bit as we pass through the Brooks Bridge, we've got a safety zone here. It's one of only about three idle speed zones that we have on the entire Poker Run course, which is why so many people love running around on these waters. And time to say hi to Neil and Cindy Campbell, who uh, come from the west coast of Florida, enjoying their 42-foot Mystic center console powered by triple Mercury 400R Verados. And this is why you buy a center console, guys, because you get to bring all your friends. It just so happens their friends are a lot of ladies who like to wear bikinis, so needless to say, this boat gets a lot of attention on poker runs. Now let's say hi to Dion King, came all the way from Illinois with his 32-foot Sensation, powered by Twin Mercury 350s. And you've gotta love this shot. Look how many people they fit on this center console, which by the way is one of the nicest 32s I think I've ever seen. And with the fun crew on board, I decided to use this picture for Florida Powerboat Club's 2020 wall calendar. Well, there's no decal on this boat, it's not registered with us, but let's just give this guy his 10 seconds of fame. Well, just to prove my statement that I said a few minutes ago that Neil and Cindy Campbell get a lot of attention on these poker runs, it's obvious that our helicopter crew and the pilot have decided that they really like this boat and they're going to follow it some more. So note to self and note to captains, more girls, more bikinis, more helicopter time. It's pretty simple math, guys. And there is no mistaking Steve and Lisa Young when you see them on a poker run. Well, take a look and you'll see why. There's no other fountain with a paint job like this one. In fact, I remember this boat with the previous owner before they had it. Uh, but nice to see them enjoying this 35 fountain. The last time we're gonna see it for a little while because I know they've got a new statement on order, a 38 center console without boards. And life is gonna change for them real soon when they get into a center console. But somehow I think this 35 fountain is gonna stick around. Let's spend a little more time with Joe and Jennifer Beckers from Florida in this super cool saltwater steel, 43 foot custom built, all aluminum uh, European styled V-bottom powered by big turbo diesels. Really running the boat now. He says it goes about 63 miles per hour with these diesels and uh, lots of room for all your friends on board. Looks like the ladies are enjoying the ride too. There's always a great story behind every boat and every club member. Wes Harlow is a local guy from the Pensacola area and he's been on this event year after year. Wes got started on this event a few years back in a 26-foot rinker. He went then to, I think, a 29 Formula, from there into a 38-foot Ocean Express Cat, which he had on the last event. And now he showed up here with this 90s generation cigarette Top Gun. Here's a guy who likes changing his boats and loves the boating lifestyle. And let's welcome first timers on this run, Seth and Tisha Rita from Texas in their 38-foot Sonic, a brand that was very recognizable back in the 90s when the club had its early beginnings. And a lot of teams from Georgia here on this Emerald Coast event, and a lot of them are in Sensations. John and Connie Fami among that group, 
in their 34 CCX, powered by Triple Mercury Racing 400Rs. A nice power package, great graphics, and the ideal boat if you got a lot of friends that you want to bring on the poker run. Now let's welcome Philip and Grisha Smith from Georgia, their first time here on the Emerald Coast Poker Run in their video bio. They said that they had a great time and that FPC does a great job of planning this event. Well, thanks for the kind words. And while this Donzi 38ZR looks new, while well, it's old school all the way, 1999 with Mercury Racing 525s pumped up with supercharged 871 blowers on those engines, giving them 750 horsepower aside. Someone did a great job restoring this Donzi. had a close look dockside and she looked brand new. And let's say hi to Rufus and Leslie Scott, another team from Georgia, 47 foot Fountain Lightning, a team that almost didn't make it to the Emerald Coast event. Rufus called me up about a month earlier saying he had some health issues and it was pretty likely he wasn't gonna make it. So. Obviously his doctors pulled through and he felt better and here he is now with his team getting out on the waterways and enjoying this Emerald Coast Power Boating Weekend. And one thing I do want to point out for safety reasons is that these are commercial waterways and there's a lot of barge traffic uh, daily. So you have to be aware of that and stay clear of these barges at all times. And yet another unregistered boat running with the pack today. Guys, it's really easy to register. FLPowerBoat.com. This is a charity event. We raise money and leave it in town. So please try to join in for our next event. I mean, let's face it, uh, we all know that the waterways are free and that uh, Crab Island here is a free place to throw an anchor and hang out. But if you're gonna run with the pack and be a part of the poker run, just get registered. We really are doing our best to put on a quality event here for everyone and raise money for five local charities. And if you're not registered, you're not supporting our efforts. And a warm welcome to FPC members Craig and Paula Ackerman, also from Georgia. And it's a very special event for them. They're celebrating the delivery of their brand new 34-foot MTI catamaran powered by Mercury Racing 400Rs. They've been in the club now for a couple of years, done a few poker runs with their Formula 29, but they're going to be going an awful lot faster for the next few poker runs because this is one fast ride. This 34 MTI has got beautiful graphics and was delivered by Tim Gallagher from MTI here at the event. Well, these shots certainly illustrate just how beautiful it is here in the Emerald Coast and particularly right here in the East Pass and Destin Harbor. Now, of course, that long sandy point is called Noriego Point. And many of you have seen over the years how it got eroded and uh, it kept getting shorter and shorter and smaller. But they basically reclaimed it all. Uh, they put in some uh, break walls and they started importing all the sand and pumping it in. They spent more than a year on the project and the end result is just beautiful. Thanks to the crew aboard this Timberview Helicopter R44 uh, for being safe up there and for getting us some great aerial photo and video of our Emerald Coast participants. And now following our normal routine, every great day of boating is followed by a great party. And it doesn't get much better than the party at AJ's. We used to call it the Rock the Docks party. And I think that's an appropriate name because that's about what we're going to do. It all begins by getting all these docks secured for the poker run. And that's something that AJ's does for us every year. And they've done it for as long as I can remember. And we have to thank them for that because without having all of the boats here on display, you really aren't going to have a dock party that's going to have the significance uh, of a poker run event. And you can see all of the poker run boats. We filled this entire basin. And it takes a lot to do that because remember, AJ's has to move a lot of their commercial operators out of this marina for the three or four day period that we're here. And that's a big gesture on their part and it shows their commitment to this event year after year. So now we have all of the Florida Powerboat Club members and sponsors situated here for the night. And it's a great variety of boats. Of course, these high performance catamarans are a big part of the show every year. But look at all of the performance center consoles in the background. 
Of course, uh, our builders from Miami, including uh, Deep Impact and Blackwater, who show up every year. Deep Impact has two boats on display. Midnight Express uh, also making that 700-mile trek from Miami with their 37 Midnight. And uh, a local builder here, Glassstream Power Boats, uh, with two center consoles on display. And Nortec had strong representation as well with their dealer, Bent Marine, who brought not one but two 39s, uh, 139 Sport and a 392 Superfish. Now we call this the AJ's sponsor dock, but once we fill up all of the space with our sponsors who are participating, there's always uh, still several spots open to the actual membership. So in order to get in here, the requirements are to understand there's a three night minimum on the docking and you're gonna have to register early so that you can get on this wait list. But we were able to get at least 10 other boats on the AJ's dock that were not sponsors and it really helps us to put on a really dynamic show here for the Friday night party and for the entire weekend. When you say Emerald Coast, you think of beautiful sand, excellent boating, and a lot of power boats here at AJ's. Well, of course, the Emerald Coast Power Boat Poker Run couldn't happen without people like AJ's here uh, in Destin Harbor supporting the event. The Friday night captain's party is uh, over the top every year. I think somehow we took it up a notch this year. If you look over my shoulder, you'll see You've got a front row here of all sponsor boats, Nortec, Midnight Express, Glassstream, one row up. You've got uh, Deep Impact. Uh, there's a there's a MTI over there, Midnight Express in the corner. And of course, we've got Team Black Diamond uh, showing up, as they always do here, with all their black MTIs and that new six-carat cigarette. But it's all part of the show, and it's all part of the fun and the fanfare of poker runs. And we're just happy to be here at AJ's and Destin, enjoying this beautiful Friday night. The air conditioning is on right now. It's Mother Nature's air conditioning. The breeze is coming in off the Gulf. Uh, couldn't feel any better. A little bit of a cold front. Took it from 106 down to 101 today. <laughs> I'll take it, give me five. But I uh, want to thank uh, all the gang at AJ's for putting on a great party as always, sitting here on the VIP. Got about three, 400 people here from the Poker Run enjoying this uh, hospitality. And we couldn't do it without you, AJ's. Thanks for uh, supporting this event year after year. And Saturday morning rolled around with yet another beautiful day here in the heart of the Emerald Coast as Bill Pico from Texas launches his uh, shockwave boat for the Saturday poker run. Smart move, Bill. He used our staging area at Emerald Coast Convention Center daily to take the boat in and out of the water. It's only about 300 feet from the boat ramp, so that saves him going to our marina and having to tie up and pay the docking fees. So a good way to take advantage of these amazing facilities that we've set up and not his first rodeo either as he smoothly pulls the boat off the trailer. Here's another team that's been at this for just a few years. Well, <laughs> more than a few, Carol Smith and his team. He's got his uh, sons along. Uh, this is a 1996 fountain. And I think that uh, they've done this event as many times as I can remember, but he goes back to about 08 or 09. Um, but this 96 fountain, look at this original Mercruiser 525 SC's triple, total of 1,575 horsepower. Everything perfect, pristine, and uh, getting it together here for a big day on the water here this Saturday. And really so, so important to get these decals on the boat, guys. We appreciate it. It helps uh, our crews to identify the boats. And here's Vu Win, another seasoned veteran here on the poker run with his 38-foot Donzi ZR, Sivu Play. Uh, and uh, good to have Vu and his team back. They've done this event so many times. What a great looking boat, very well maintained. And I think some of you will appreciate this behind the scenes segment of uh, our safety management crew getting things ready as they stop off here at the Florosa Fire Rescue uh, to pick up their trauma kits and their backboards and all of the necessary equipment that they're gonna need on the water today as they go out and be a part of our safety management fleet. It's all headed up by Ryan Kristen, who's also our video production uh, coordinator. So Ryan has got a lot on his shoulders on this event. Uh, the second year now helping us out and uh, that's why he's taken over and going to be taking more responsibility for the 2020 event so ryan and his team now they're getting on the water with this fleet of pontoon boats and volunteer boats that are going to be on the course today from sandestin to pensacola beach 
Saturday morning here, getting things kicked off. Uh, poker card number one here from the Emerald Grand. And uh, we've got Amber and Miss Jackie here handing the cards off as everybody got started right on cue. 10 o'clock sharp. A parade started coming down here from Destin Harbor. And one by one, they're picking up their cards here uh, off of the jet ski dock. Thanks to Bogey Boat Rentals for giving us a nice platform to hand off our card one here in Destin. Uh, all together, we hit about uh, just under 90 registered teams. Not bad for our second year on our own here on this Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run uh, VIP format. A great party last night at AJ's. It was fantastic. Uh, thanks to the entire gang there. And thanks to the gang here at Harbor Walk Village because this year, more than any year in the past, we've got a lot of Florida Powerboat Clubs docked right here in the East Basin and along the waterfront here in Harbor Walk Village. It all worked really well when they put in that new jetty over there at Noriega Point. They filled in all that landfill, protecting all of this water here along the waterfront of Emerald Grand. Well, this is always the most exciting time of the event for me because I like to sit on the dock and just pay attention to what's going on. But let's listen in really closely and we'll pretend that we're golf announcers on the green as Tiger Woods lines up his next shot. But just watch these teams as they come up and we're gonna quietly monitor the situation and see just who's got their act together and who doesn't. Looks like a little specter cat coming up. Oh, she's got a nice wave. She's got her life jacket on and she reaches out and gets the card. I'd say that's a nine, definitely a nine score for this team with the specter cat as they pull away from the dock with Grace. Captain's got his act together. I don't know guys, that was pretty good. Let's see how this big skater does. This is Mark and Deanna Santos from Texas, a big boat a tribute, very fast, but they have lost some big points here. They sent a dude up to get the card when they have ladies on the boat. I'm sorry guys, but that's at least four points off your technical score. The boat looks great, but you're gonna lose it if you don't send the girls up, right? And lovely Amber on the dock here is gonna keep it going. Let's check out this wild looking cigarette. Yeah, this is Gunnar Adams. He's a new guy on the block, 42 cigarette. He sends not one, but two girls up on the deck. Guys, I would say that Gunnar has got it. It's a dead ringer for today's card segment. I would say, yes, of course, there's more boats coming, but you gotta say, two lovely ladies. And oh, it's Miss Jackie taking over to help out Amber. Now we've got a two FPC girl team on the dock, guys. It's gotta look good from both angles for this poke around to win for everybody. Oh, here we go now. Dion King with his Sensation 32. You know, he was here 10 years ago in a Sonic, but I don't think he had as many girls on board as he did today. Look at that color coordinating. Blonde, another girl on the front. Girls, girls, girls. I don't know, Gunnar Adams is gonna have to step back. Maybe this Sensation has just taken over for the day. I've gotta say, that was a great show, Dion. And nice execution from the captain with that reverse U-turn to exit the dock. And here's another one of those skater team season pros, Bo and Tiffany Renfro, not their first rodeo. They've done a lot of poker runs. Tiffany's looking mighty fine today, but Tiffany, where's that bikini? That would have got you two more points on this handoff, girl. Considering the heat, I would have expected at the very least a one piece. But let's watch Bo as he exits the dock. He does a nice turn to port without hitting the dock or any other boats. He's gonna get those two points back. Not a bad job here from Bo and Tiffany as they exit the dock in this beautiful 36 foot skater. Listen to this beast. Well, Amber's doing a great job here as this big Midnight Express pulls up. It's another one of the Adams family. You know what they say, like father, like son. This is more like son, like father. Looks like the young boy's teaching his dad how to do it right. Got a pretty lady up there to get the card. And you've got to love this big sensation. Scott and Lisa Kagan from North Carolina. She reaches out and with grace pulls that card. Look, at, not only does she have her bikini on, she's also wearing her life jackets and she did not dangle her feet over the edge of the boat. Let's give him a 9.5. And from the GoPro pole, let's check out this team. Looks like a DCB 35. And what is this? Another dude up on the deck of the boat. Not gonna win anything, but kudos for wearing the life jacket. Oh, the crowd is going to have to contain themselves on this one as Neil and Cindy Cam will come up in that bodacious two. Yes, it's that 42-foot mystic, and it is loaded with pretty ladies. A gracious handoff, leg dangling over the side, but it's a floating dock, so we're not going to take any points off for that. Waves from all the girls. Hunter Adams, step aside. It looks like Team Bodacious wins the handoff today. Now, this is a brand new, well, for him anyway, a brand new 38 Top Gun, Wes Harlow, uh, told, called me about two weeks ago. He was boatless. He was up in Lake Lanier, and he had sold his express catamaran to somebody on the docks there uh, at Lake Lanier. And he was boatless two weeks ago. He said, Stu, I'm looking at an old cigarette 
kind of like your boat, a 2000 model 38 Top Gun. I said, if the price is right, you'd be crazy not to buy it. Well, sure enough, there's that cigarette. He picked it up, he got it in the water, and this is his first poker run with his 38 foot cigarette Top Gun. Keith Rockman and his team here on this beautiful 34 Sensation CCX center console. It's got triple Mercury Verado 350s, a nice power package, a very, very popular boat now with the Poker Run set. As an entry level center console at 34 feet, that's about the best size you can get into if you don't want to break the bank and get a good reliable boat that'll go to the Bahamas and that'll be able to take all your friends for the Poker Run. You can see they had a big crew on board. But this team's got a small crew on board, uh, Chad Havens and his lady on this M35 DCB Mercury Racing 1350s. This is one incredible hot rod. Hey, hey, how we doing? We first met this couple on the Key West Poker Run two years ago. They arrived in a 44-foot uh, skater, uh, put on a good show that year, Team Savage. Well, they decided that the skater needed to get a refit. In the meantime, they didn't want to be boatless. So Chad picked himself up that 35 DCB, and he's been loving that boat. It's been on two poker runs in a row. Of course, he joined us in Orange Beach last month. And a brand new, for the first time ever, uh, Craig Ackerman and Paula just took delivery of this brand new 34 MTI Cat Twin Mercury Racing 400s. That's the power package that was designed for that boat and they are loving it. And they jumped up out of a 29 foot formula. Can you believe that? A 29 formula all the way to this 34 MTI. Tim Gallagher from MTI on board, uh, giving them a little bit of coaching here on their first poker run so they can go out and have a good time. That's about as, I can still smell the paint. It's just fresh, just came out of the shop, looking beautiful. Have fun guys, be safe. Okay, and uh, back to the cigarettes. Of course, if you're gonna own a cigarette, this is about as good as it gets here. Uh, Mike Pasco in his 42X cigarette, brand new set of Mercury Racing 860s. They, uh, it's one of the first boats to get that equipment. They had a few glitches in the computers on the first set, but Mercury Racing stepped up to the plate and they took care of Mike big time. They put a brand new set of those 860s in there. He just started run running them. This is his first poker run with his new power package and he says he is loving it. What a beautiful ride, all prepared by Phil Lipschitz down in uh, Miami. Of course, we know Phil as the expert on rigging out cigarettes. He has been doing it for about 30 years now. And the sensations just keep on coming. This is a 32 model, uh, twin Mercury Verado 350, Steve Rabelais from Louisiana. And once again, you couldn't find a better poker run boat for the right money. Of course, Performance Boat Center is the dealer for these. They're built in Michigan between their 32, their 34, and now their 40 model. The new CCX line is perfect for poker runs and family boating. And we saw this Hustler earlier in the show on the Friday Fun Run, John Coletta. It's Hustler 388 Slingshot, a boat that was very popular back around the year 2000 when it first came out. Uh, Team 59, uh, Brad Hancock and his crew got his sister Rosie on board today. Looking good all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, a Nortec 477 SPX. Very, very rare boat. They built a few of these with big Mercury Racing 1350s. Now, they have timed out and he, it was time for him to go and get that boat redone. They just got the 1350s back from the factory. So they're running a fresh set of 1350s now in that boat. And that is one fast Nortec. I've been on this boat before. Runs well over 100 miles an hour all day long and I'm sure they're gonna have a great ride today. Another team right on behind here also from the Atlanta area. This is Josh Kirkland and his crew on the Dirty Duck, a 42-foot cigarette Huntress, uh, cigarette Huntress, four Mercury Racing, sorry, four Mercury 350 Verados on this boat. Got the lovely Colleen up here. Hey, Colleen, how you doing, baby? Good to see you, gang. And they're all ready to roll here. Love going on poker runs all over. We've been on several events with the club over the years, and they're really enjoying that boat. What a great platform you can see. You can bring all your friends on that big Huntress. Plenty of seating, room for 15 people comfortably on this boat. And there you see it, four Mercury Verados uh, operating with a joystick. So yes, you can just fingertip control that boat into the dock, not a bad little deal. I got a chance to drive it on the Tampa Poker Run last year. 
Well, they always say leave on a high note, and I can't think of it being any more high than right now. Sitting here on the docks watching all of these teams get their poker cards on the Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run. We're going to sign off for now and promise you great coverage as we continue with our feature video highlights of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run 2019 edition with about 90 teams registered. In our next episode, we promise more high-speed aerials as the teams execute the course from Sandestin to Pensacola Beach here in the beautiful Emerald Coast. We appreciate all of our viewers who are sticking with us here on this Florida Powerboat Club YouTube channel. And during these tough times as we weather the coronavirus here in our nation, uh, all I can say is we're going to keep bringing you some wonderful content with complete coverage of the Emerald Coast Poker Run. And right after that, a series of at least 10 episodes with Key West coverage. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell. Enjoy the episode, hit that like button, and please share your comments. If you want to know more about what's going on with the club, you can check our website out at flpowerboat.com. And of course, we've got social media in the form of our Facebook page, Florida Powerboat Club, and our Instagram channels. And remember, we have a new one, at Emerald Coast Powerboat, which we use exclusively for the Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run content. So as we say farewell, remember to be mindful of your social distancing, follow the protocols from the CDC and the World Health Organization, and listen to your elected government officials because they're telling you to do the right thing. We're going to get through this together, guys. But meanwhile, from the FPC studios in Pompano Beach, this is Stu Jones. We're thinking of you guys. Be safe out there, and we hope to see you soon on an adventure with the members of the Florida Powerboat Club. Be safe out there, and always wear your face mask. The Florida Powerboat Club's Poker Run event series and these YouTube episodes are presented by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination along with these leading marine industry sponsors.